I think the trick is you're, you're really disguising the learning in the fun. There's so much learning that they're getting that they don't even realize the math, the science, and all the skills, and the, and the coding, and the technology that they were creating for themselves. I guess what got me started with, with Sphero was I saw it at a, uh, a birthday party, was listening to another teacher speak, you know, how she was using her classroom. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I could do this. Came back to school the next day and was talking to my kids and said, you know, hey, I, I saw this great new product and found out a bunch of my kids already had it. And so uh, just kind of started in an informal club before school. And our, our club started with probably me and four, maybe five other students as other students started to see you know what we were doing and what we were making the numbers grew and, and swelled and we had I want to say 30 plus students by the end of the year I made the jump from from the club to the classroom when my assistant principal and my principal came down and said you know hey what's the commotion going on down here and I showed them and I expressed an interest in bringing Sphero to my classroom and once they saw the possibilities from there it was very easy to incorporate into the classroom my students love it. We do Sphero just about every Friday, and I've got a big glass head that has a light bulb in it. That is our, hey, today's Sphero day, and when they come in and they see that, they know that they're in for some fun. The kids just jumped into the missions right away. And each and every week, you know, I, I'd write these impossible missions, figuring, hey, they're, you know, they'll never get it. They were just nailing them so quick and so fast that they kept challenging me as a teacher. They're getting everything, and they're growing so fast. You know, what can I possibly give them next time and after a while of scratching my head and going oh my gosh what am I going to do next you know one of my students came up and said you know hey can can I design the next one I've got an idea and then that was kind of my eureka moment it's very rare that you can kind of step back and just go take it and for me it just shows that these kids are capable of, of so much more than we give them credit for some of the missions that they created, they would have to build props for. They would learn 3D CAD design and they were printing things on my 3D printer. The, the level of growth without me even pushing them is just amazing. I think a lot of times as teachers, we get bogged down in the books, you know, hey, we gotta be to this page by this time. I think that if we just slow down, I think those things can be discussed and incorporated into a lot more, you know, student-driven activities and then when we step back and we always debrief the activity afterwards I'm like oh my gosh did you guys realize that you were doing this and there's always this oh my gosh we're doing that in math or hey that's fractions and you know that's dividing decimals and that's what I love about Sphero in my classroom it's done away with why do we have to do this and the question's been well, when can we do this again so I mean it's really kind of changed the way kids see their own education I think and the most rewarding thing for me is you know getting to the end of a class and running out of time and then just seeing them go, oh no, let's let's go 10 more minutes. And so just to see them that involved in their learning, it's reinstilled that, that reason why I started teaching to begin with. I have, in all my years, never had as much fun as I've had this year. I have never grown as much as I've grown this year as an educator. I've never seen more excitement with my kids my students, I've never seen as much growth with my students as I have this year. It's just absolutely been a pleasure to work with Sphero and to have you know, my little round friend join my classroom and I just hope it continues. <laughs>